And with two down, here is Ed Hearn, who had his first big league hit in the second inning. He's a youngster who was drafted by Philadelphia. He had an appointment to the West Point Military Academy and decided to be a baseball player. He would have made an impressive-looking general. He's 6'3", 215. to that the penthouse of all my dreams as a young boy I mean I had I had sacrificed so much to be there to get to that point no doubt I never I probably never really dreamt that I would play in the big leagues let alone be in a World Series and be on the winning team So it was over. The Mets were world champions. There's a couple of gifts I want to give to you, and one of them is a little perspective today. Just when I had life in the palm of my hands, I mean I had it right where I wanted it. It was jerked out from underneath me. But this is a man who, first of all, was the short end of the David Cohn trade. The Royals gave away a two-time Cy Young Award winner, and Ed took the heat for it because he got injured right away. On top of that, when his career ended, he had a kidney transplant, a life-threatening blood disorder, and a life-threatening sleeping disorder disease. And when we interviewed him a month before, or two months before, he had had cancer. So I went from the penthouse to the outhouse. What do you do when you're facing adversity, when you're facing change, you think you have no control over? Beat Karen Kornacki, the Kansas City reporter who's done more than just cover the story. She says she got a ringside seat to all of Ed's highs and lows since the very first day he arrived as a ball player for the Kansas City Royals. And welcome Ed and Trish Hearn, Conquering Life's Curves is the title of their book. There's a lesson in there for everybody, right, Ed, you say? You betcha, boy. Uh, you know, as a young boy, I had, I had dreamed of being a big league ball player. That's all I wanted to do, and then um, uh, things changed. You know, of course, as I travel around the country speaking today, I find that we all face changes in, in life. We face challenges, and uh, uh, fortunately, the things that happened in my life, I now am able to go out there and empower other people, share with them a message of, of hope and and that we can overcome these challenges. Uh. Ed Hearn is truly an inspirational champion.